Taguig City Mayor Lino Cayetano ordered cops to go to the Pacific Plaza Towers to enforce lockdown rules. Taguig Police Chief Colonel Salso Rodriguez confirms to Rappler, Cayetano's Chief of Staff Nolly Flores called Sunday, April 19, asking them to check residents reportedly violating physical distancing rules in the common areas by not wearing face masks. Rodriguez says it was the first time Cayetano asked them to check up on a condominium complex. He adds Pacific Plaza seems to be the only building that had broken quarantine rules. Four policemen stormed the building around 4.30 p.m. on Sunday, armed with firearms but without warrants. They allegedly threatened security men of arrest unless they were allowed in. The cops then went to PPT's pool area to shout at residents to go back to their units. Residents slammed the police and the Pacific Plaza Towers management, with the board thinking of filing charges against police. Guidelines issued by the National Government's Interagency Task Force against the coronavirus do not include the closure of pools and shared spaces in private properties. For proper guidance. Meanwhile, in the city of Manila, Mayor Isko Moreno places Sampaloc District on hard lockdown. An order providing a 48-hour shutdown in the entire Sampaloc District of Manila from 8 p.m. of April 23, 2020 until 8 p.m. of April 25, 2020 for purposes of disease, surveillance, verification, or testing, and rapid risk assessment in relation to COVID-19. Under the area lockdown, Sampaloc residents will be prohibited from leaving their homes, except for healthcare workers, police and military personnel, service workers, barangay officials, and accredited media. Meantime, former Anak Pawis Congressman Ariel Casilao and six volunteers who conducted relief operations in North Zagaray, Bulacan, are charged with sedition. This comes after their warrantless arrest and illegal detention on Sunday, April 19. Interior and Local Government Undersecretary Jonathan Malaya says the food passes of the Anak Pawis volunteers were unauthorized. The group for its part accuses the police of arbitrary detention.